What's going on, everybody? This is Best in a Burrow with another gameplay commentary. Um, and here I have a uh, free for all on Underground. My final KD is 30 and 7. Um, and first of all, I just want to say thank you to all the people that do watch my videos, the people that are subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the feedback. Um, I have been getting a lot of good, positive stuff here recently, and I definitely am appreciative of it. Um, so, uh, I just got the new map packs earlier today, and uh, first off, let's talk about those, I guess. So, uh, we got Mike Piazza, I guess, and uh, the liberation of snipers humping bushes. Um, Piazza is it's pretty cool. It's pretty... I kind of like how it's laid out, but there are some some areas that don't really make sense. Um, there's definitely a lot of corner camping and stuff like that. People sitting sitting waiting for people to run by. But there's definitely a lot of different ways to get in and out of places. I've played I haven't played it that much, you know, a couple hours, and um, yeah, there's 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 a lot of choke points. I mean, depending on the game type you're playing and stuff, if you play objective-based games, um, definitely need to keep that in mind. Um, and then liberation, um, or as I said, the liberation of sniper something bushes, because that's basically what happens. I mean, if you've played it yet, um, I'm not sure if you have or not, but it, it's a lot of snipers. I mean, it doesn't really matter the game type you're playing, the, people are sniping. I mean, you get some people running around with SMGs and some, some assault rifles here and there, but it's a bunch of snipers, and they're pretty much laying on the ground on the edge of bushes and stuff like that. I mean, somewhat reminds me of, a uh, kind of the play tactics of people on Battlefield, how, because I mean, it is it is a really large map. I mean, it really reminds me of Operation Metro on Battlefield 3, just the, the sheer size of it. Um, I, I'll have some of those videos coming later, um, including the first videos of each match I had on each one of those maps, so keep, keep an eye out for that. Um, and I wanted to talk about something a little different. Um, I'm sure a lot of people might be wondering kind of who I am, kind of what my story is or whatever, and I figured I'd tell you. When I was younger, I always played sports. I came up playing football, basketball, stuff like that, um, and then when I was in high school, my football coach told me that if I went out for track, that I would uh, I would be able to, I would start on varsity the next year as a junior, so I was like, definitely I'll run track. I ended up running track, and the first year I didn't do that well. Um, I did a high jump, triple jump, threw shot put and discus a little bit, but I didn't. I didn't really do well my first year. As far as like triple jump and high jump go, there were there were meets where girls out jumped me, and I don't know if anybody else has ever kind of struggled with something, but I mean I can jump and stuff like that, but it's just. You gotta have your mindset right, you know, and you can't, you kind of like, you can't let uh, the outside environment or situation affect you because it definitely will. I mean, if you got a hundred, a couple hundred, a couple hundred people sitting there watching you do this, it's a little, it's a little frustrating and can be arduous. But you know, I, I stuck with it. I, I continued running track after that first year, even though I did extremely horrible, and. That second year, I ended up, I came back, I ended up being a lot better, I did a lot, I had a lot more success, and by the end of it, by the time I graduated, I was an all-state high jumper. Um, and I think that just is, just is a, a testament to kind of my stick-to-it attitude. I mean, if I'm not good at something originally, I'm going to keep trying until I get better at it. That's just my work ethic, you know, and that's why, as I was saying before, I really appreciate everybody's you know support and stuff like that because I'm gonna continue doing this you know and I'm gonna steadily try to improve my stuff and I want to make it better and everything um, and that's why I have a lot of new stuff coming out I um, definitely have some uh, some dual commentaries in the process in the works um, I also have a uh, have a friend of mine that's he's working on a, a little rap song for me for a video so you definitely need to just Give me a chance. Stick with me for a little bit. I got a lot of different stuff coming out. Um, and just to talk about the gameplay a little bit because uh, it's a little past halfway over, but it's been a pretty good match. 
kind of going back and forth, and if you notice, there's a couple boosters on this map, of which they were in the same lobby with us for several rounds, and I continually told everybody in the lobby that we've had some boosters, because as soon as I saw them enter the match, it was it was pretty evident. I mean, they both had the same name. I think their name is Wofo Play. One's 12, and I think the other's Wofo Play 26. And you know, from the beginning, I was like, yeah, I think they're gonna be boosting. And then on this map, it was really apparent. So I definitely thought I would upload it because you know, the boosters they never win. I mean, they they do sometimes, but it's cheap. It doesn't count. Nobody cares. And on this one, they still didn't win, even though they were boosting somewhere and they're shooting each other. I got to I got to ruin their fun a couple times. Uh, I caught them in the train a little bit ago, and you know it's kind of something I just it's kind of something I enjoy doing. I kind of got into that from uh, Sandy Ravage. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen him. If you haven't, you should definitely check him out. He's um he's a machinima partner and everything. But on Modern Warfare 2, he he did a lot of uh, a lot of booster. Hunt, hunting as he would run around with a he'd run around with a RPG and C4 and a bunch of other stuff to just kind of go rain on their parade so it's, it's a lot of fun um, I got a lot of good stuff coming though because I've had some good matches here recently um, I'm definitely gonna start bringing some new stuff different games that I've been playing because I recently just started playing Red Dead Redemption again. I just started the whole uh, campaign storyline over, just because it's an awesome game. I really enjoyed it. I was actually playing uh, the online of that the other night, just running around doing little missions and stuff. They were they were doing triple XP on it. So, yep. But the match is winding down. As I said, final KD is 30 and 7. I do appreciate everybody taking your time to watch, comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Buttons on the bottom. I keep eye on it.